What is happening? What is hitting the net? Why now? Disciples of TB Joshua, why bring this up now? Wonderful people are going to show. Hi everyone, hi special people in that beautiful day. This is your first time joining me. I'm Genie. You're welcome to Special Genie, Special People's Channel. On this channel, we bring up true life stories and important topics which we discuss to the lessons out of it. And on this particular topic, I'm not bringing it out to judge those who come to confess. Billions of people are yet to see it. But one thing I want to ask is there any lesson learned from this? Is where I, Special Genie, always comes in. No, 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 no. I'm not bringing it out to condemn those who were victims. No. But I'm here so that we will discuss important lessons that you and I ought to learn from this particular BBC documentary titled Disciples The Cut of TB Joshua. And people will be asking, yes, she spoke about Paul McKenzie and uh, Kenyan stuff. And uh, let's hear her speak. Yes, so I must talk my talk. But you know what I'm going to talk is all about lessons that will keep you and I safe from this so called daddy geos, mommy geos. As I always say concerning topic like this, there are persons that are anointed to see the anointings, which I, special genius, am one of them. It is real, and I'm going to keep it real and simple. Oh yes, let's go there. For people who don't know TB Joshua, I'll just give a little information about him. TB Joshua, formerly known as Tomitope Balogo Joshua, was born in 12th June 1963. Founded the church, Nego Church of All Nations, located in Lagos State, Nigeria. A Christian mega church that runs the Emmanuel TV television station from Lagos. He died on June 5, 2021. It's thousands of people who go to this synagogue church of all nations to receive miracles, healings, um, all sorts of things, including help. And this has brought thousands of people to visit Nigeria. <laughs> I know it will be shocking for people to see or even believe this. But we need to learn something from it. It's so scary as I said. But when I went through the comments, I like, oh yeah. And one blew my mind. He said, this is really hard to believe. And also just very, very scary to watch. I honestly can't say a word. That is how it is. The documentary was all based on true life stories. These are from persons who were there, who lived there, and who gave their life onto the service consigned Nago Church of Formation for more than 16 good years, including the chief prayer warrior, <laughs> prayer cantatas. Dozens of eyewitness accounts on physical violence or torture carried out by TB Joshua, including instances of child abuse and people being whipped and chained. Numerous of women alleged that they were sexually assaulted by TB Joshua. Multiple allegations of forced abortion inside the church following alleged rapes by TB Joshua, including one woman who says she had five terminations. Multiple first hand accounts detailing how Joshua faked his miracle healings, which were broadcast to millions of people around the world, and many more. My dear, I am not here to discuss all this. Please, I will be sharing the link with you. Just go and watch for yourself. Watching the documentary, millions of questions kept flowing into my mind. Why now? Why didn't they say it since when he was alive? Eh, why are they bringing it up now? Really? I want to state four things that are connected to the why now. Why didn't they say it? I'm not making up excuses for them, please. Fear of losing their lives. Fear of being tortured. Two, confession papers. Admitting that they were fully involved in the wrongdoing which TB Joshua kept secret from the public, at the same time trying to free their mind from the guilt. 3. They want to awaken the world of these atrocities which you and I weren't aware of. Then 4. They want to gain a new free mind as they go around with their business as they accept the new self which they have begun. You know, so but listen carefully the lessons that we all have to take concerning this particular documentary I have discussed deeply concerning religious cuts and secrets previously in my video titled great tips to escape false teaching using Paul McKinsey's cuts death row rising and in addition to that I went ahead to discuss deeply 
send great tips on how to identify false prophets and their teachings, which I stated self-exaltation where they exalt themselves and see themselves as demigod using their dreams to make doctrines of which nobody dares to argue with them or bring, or bring up things concerning what they are practicing, explaining to their followers that salvation can only be gotten by their own self-effort, thereby compelling their people to stay in the church and do some certain things, adding of items like sand, olive oil, salt, they compel the people to buy only in the church premises, which they tell them that it is only through these items that they can get miracles. And many other things I discussed here, please don't forget to watch it. So in addition to that, number 11 any religious body that makes you take an oath of secrecy to protect the interest of the body is a true cut make you not to say whatever you see they say i don't say if you say it you die those things should let you know that this is a cut i need to step out number 12 any religious body that make you see your family your friends your loved ones as less important thereby separating you from them making you to come and live in the church telling you all sort of things okay listen to me carefully that is a cut wonderful people there is a lot going on you will only understand what i'm saying when you go back to the video which i will be sharing the link with you and it will be of help to you please watch and learn more i don't have much to say don't let this that geos when we geos prophet and prophetess take you away from the real track Thank you one of people for watching my video you can save a soul by pressing the like button please share 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 please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel i'll keep pressing on to let you know more about how to identify false prophets please keep watching see you more bye